Time and Calendar Topics covered Time using AM and PM 24-hour clock time Calendar Reading hand to the exact minute Between the numbers written on the face of the clock, that is 1, 2, 3, there are smaller marks which tell us of minutes. So between 1 and 2, there are marks which divide the space between 1 and 2 into 5 equal parts. Similarly, the space between 2 and 3 is also divided into 5 equal parts and so on. In the figure, the minute hand is at 42, between the marks 8 and 9. And the hour hand has passed mark 2 and is between 2 and 3. So the time is 2.42. We count the minutes in fives. When the minute hand is at 8, it is 8 into 5 which is equal to 40 minutes past the hour and when the minute hand is at 9, it is 9 into 5, 45 minutes past the hour. So between the marks 8 and 9 lie the minutes 41, 42, 43 and 44. Because the minute hand is at the second mark, it is 42 minutes past the hour. Time using AM and PM While counting time, the word day does not mean just the time of sunlight. A day means 24 hours, from 12 o'clock of midnight to the next 12 o'clock of midnight. The time from midnight to noon is called AM, anti-meridian which means before the noon. The time from noon to the next midnight is called PM, post-meridian, which means after the noon. Remember, exact 12 o'clock in the middle of the night is called midnight. Exact 12 o'clock in the middle of the day is called midday or noon. One day, 24 hours. Midnight, 12 o'clock. AM, has 12 hours, noon 12 o'clock, p.m. has 12 hours and the next midnight 12 o'clock. Thus we indicate the time after midnight and before noon by writing a.m. with it and the time after noon and before next midnight by writing p.m. with it. The clock does not show us whether it is a.m. or p.m. of any particular day or night. Remember, the hour hand takes 12 hours to go around the clock once. In a day of 24 hours, the hour hand goes around the clock twice. For example, the clock shows 6 o'clock twice in the morning and in the evening. We write 6 o'clock in the morning as 6 a.m. and 6 o'clock in the evening as 6 p.m. Example, find the number of hours between 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. Solution, 10 a.m. to 12 noon is equal to 12 minus 10, 2 hours. 12 noon to 3 p.m. is equal to 3 hours. So the time between 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. is equal to 12 hours plus 3 hours which is equal to 5 hours. 24 hour clock time A clock has 12 hours but it does not show morning or evening. Therefore, railways, airlines and army use 24 hour clock time. Some digital watches show time in 24 hour clock time. To convert 12 hour clock time to 24 hour clock time, we add the hours to 12 after the noon. 12 hour clock time 12 midnight, 12 noon, and the next 12 midnight. 24 hour clock time, 0000, 000, 000 hours, 12 000 hours, 24 000, 000 hours. In 24 hour clock time, to represent minutes past an hour, we write two more digits per minute to the right of the number of hours. Comparison of 12 hour clock and 24 hour clock time. 12 hour clock time, 
12 o'clock midnight 24 hour clock time 2400 hours or 0000 hour 1201 am 0001 hours 1230 am according to 12 hour clock time can be represented as 0030 hours in a 24 hour clock time similarly 1 am can be represented as 0100 hours in a 24 hour clock time 10 am in a 12 hour clock time can be represented as 1000 hours 12 o'clock noon can be represented as 1200 hours 121 pm can be represented as 1201 hours 1 pm as 1300 hours 2 pm as 1400 hours 1159 pm as 2359 hours remember in 24 hour clock time colon between the hours and minutes is usually not written at some places single space or a point is given in between to convert 24 hour clock time into 12 hour clock time subtract 12 from the hours that are greater than 12 and write pm 1300 hours is written as 1 pm 13 minus 12 is equal to 1 Also 1201 hours is written as 1201 pm To convert 24 hour clock time into 12 hour clock time just write am for hours that are less than 12 0500 hours can be written as 5 am Time in seconds Some clocks and watches have three hands We can see the thinner third hand moving fast. This is a second hand. The time taken by the second hand to move from one small division to the next small division is 1 second. The second hand covers 60 small divisions in 1 minute. 1 minute is equal to 60 seconds. Conversion of time units. Example Convert three hours eighteen minutes into minutes. Solution: One hour is equal to sixty minutes. Three hours eighteen minutes is equal to three into sixty plus eighteen, which is equal to one eighty plus eighteen equals to one ninety eight minutes. Example: Convert two ninety seven minutes into hours and minutes. Solution: One hour is equal to sixty minutes. Divide two ninety seven by sixty. So sixty four is our two forty, and we are left out with fifty seven. Therefore, two ninety seven minutes can be written as four hours fifty seven minutes. Example: Convert five minutes thirty five seconds into seconds. Solution: One minute is equal to sixty seconds. 5 minutes 35 seconds is equal to 5 into 60 plus 35 which is equal to 300 plus 35 which is equal to 335 seconds example convert 460 seconds into minutes and seconds solution 1 minute is equal to 60 seconds divide 460 by 60 Four sixty divided by sixty gives us forty. So four sixty seconds is equal to seven minutes forty seconds. Examples: Convert four days ten hours into hours. Solution: One day is equal to twenty-four hours. Four days ten hours is equal to four into twenty-four plus ten. Which is equal to ninety six plus ten, which is equal to one hundred and six hours. Examples: Convert one hundred hours into days and hours. Solution: One day is equal to twenty four hours. Divide one hundred by twenty four, so you get four.
100 hours equal to 4 days 4 hours. Addition and subtraction of hours and minutes. Example, Mr. Johnson left home at 10.45 am and returned after 1 hour and 20 minutes. At what time did he return? Solution 10.45 am is equal to 10 hours 45 minutes. So write 10 in hours 45 in minutes and add 1 hour 20 minutes to 10.45. So 45 minutes plus 20 minutes equal to 65 minutes. 65 minutes is equal to 60 plus 5 which is equal to 1 hour 5 minutes. 1 hour plus 10 hours plus 1 hour is equal to 12. Sum is equal to 12 hours 5 minutes which can be written as 12.05 pm. So Mr. Johnson returned home at 12.05 pm. Example. Alice boarded a train at 6.50 p.m. and got off at 11 p.m. How long was she in the train? Both times are in p.m. So we do not need to change it to 24-hour clock time. 6.50 p.m. can be written as 6 hours 50 minutes. 11 p.m. as 11 hours 00 minutes. So subtracting 11 minus 6.50 Borrow 1 hour, leaving 10 hours, 1 hour, 0, 0 minutes is equal to 60 minutes. So 60 minutes minus 50 minutes is equal to 10 minutes. 10 hours minus 6 hours is equal to 4 hours. So Alice was in the train for 4 hours, 10 minutes only. Example, Nancy reaches her office at 9.30 a.m and leaves at 6.15 p.m. How long does she stay in the office? Method 1. Change to 24 hours clock time and subtract. 6.15 p.m. is equal to 12 plus 6.15 which is equal to 1815 hours. 9.30 a.m. can be written as 0930 hours. So let us subtract 930 minus 1815. Borrowing 1 hour, leaving there 17 hours, we get 1 hour 15 minutes which is equal to 60 plus 15 is equal to 75 minutes. So 75 minutes minus 30 minutes is equal to 45. And 17 hours minus 9 hours is equal to 8 hours. So Nancy stayed in her office for 8 hours 45 minutes. Method 2, 9.30 a.m. to 12 noon is equal to 12 hours minus 9 hours 30 minutes. So 12.00 minus 9.30. Borrow 1 hour leaving there 11 hours. 1 hour 00, 00 minutes is equal to 60 minutes. So 60 minutes minus 30 minutes is 30 minutes. 11 hours minus 9 hours is equal to 2 hours. So 9 a.m. to 12 noon is equal to 2 hours 30 minutes. 12 noon to 6.15 p.m. is equal to 6 hours 15 minutes. So the total time in the office is equal to 2 hours 30 minutes plus 6 hours 15 minutes which is equal to 8 hours 45 minutes. Calendar a calendar shows days and dates for all the 12 months of a year. The 12 months are the following January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November and December. Different months have different number of days. 4 months April, June, September and November have 30 days each. One month, February has 28 days in an ordinary year and 29 days in a leap year. Remaining, seven months have 31 days each. January, March, May, July, August, October and December. 
Leap year. Our Earth revolves around the Sun once in 365, one by four days, which is exactly one year. But we cannot account for one by four day each year. So we add one by four days for four years and add one day to the fourth year. Thus, each fourth year has 366 days, while an ordinary year has 365 days. This fourth year is called a leap year. This extra one day is added to February in the leap year. To find whether a year is a leap year or not, divide it by 4. For example, 2020 divided by 4, you get 505. 2024 divided by 4, you get 506. So did you know? So 2021 is not a leap year as it is not evenly divisible. 2021 divided by 4 is equal to 505.25. The years 2021, 2022, 2023 have February of 28 days each and years 2020, 2024, and 2028 have 29 days in a year. Hence, 2020, 2024, and 2028 are leap years. Week Seven days make a week. Days in a calendar are marked in short form. Monday, M-O-N, Tuesday, T-U-E-S, Wednesday, W-E-D, horizontally or vertically. Each day, repeats itself after seven days. Thus, if a Monday falls on day 3, it will fall again on the dates 3 plus 7 which is equal to 10, 10 plus 7 which is equal to 17, 17 plus 7 is equal to 24, 24 plus 7 is equal to 31, if the month has 31 days. Example Mary's school was closed from 15th March onwards for two weeks. On what day did the school reopen? The day 15th March is included in a holiday. Two weeks is equal to 2 into 7, 14 days. First day of the holiday is 15th, which is equal to 14 plus 1. So 14th day of holidays is equal to 14 plus 14, which is equal to 28. So the school reopened on the next day of the holiday, 28 plus 1 is equal to 29th March. Example, the World Cup matches started on 8 October and ended on 8 November. For how many days did the matches continue? First day of the matches is equal to 8, which is equal to 7 plus 1. Day from 8 October. 31st October is equal to 31 minus 7 which is equal to 24. Days from 1st November to 8th November is equal to 8 days. The matches continued for 24 plus 8 which is equal to 32 days. Values and Life Skills Tom reached his school at quarter to 8. He started from his house at quarter past seven. How much time did he take to reach school? Value is Time is money. Be punctual in reaching school. Timeline is a representation of a sequence of events that have happened over a period of time. Here is a horizontal timeline of the Harry Potter films by their year of release 2001 Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone 2002 Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets 2004 Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban 2005 Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire 2007 Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix 2009 Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince 2010 Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1 2011 
Harry the Deathly Hallows Part 2 No more Do you know, there is no wrong time to do the right thing. Hots Sally leaves her house in the morning to go to day camp. Just as she is leaving her house, she looks at the reflection of the clock in the drawing room. There are numbers on the clock, so Sally makes an error in reading the time. She assumes that the clock is showing 4.45. What is the correct time?